pretty Gucci gang, man. Fucking, I feel like I'm gonna be sick. Jesus Christ. Nerves are getting them. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. Just when you turn that on, it's like, oh no. <laughs> it's always the same shit in this. Um, I swear to God. Uh, so, why did you see Sticky Vicky died? <laughs> I've seen that. Man, I'm not too familiar with the the Benadorm lore. Like, you know the what I mean? The Benadorm lore. <laughs> <laughs> if you can fill me in, like, you know what I mean? It's, it's well, I'll tell you, you basically she, just de- told her job there. So. <laughs> <laughs> Was she the I one that loved the fags? No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love the good pain, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, I get you, she went out of fags, man. <laughs> she croaked it. Um, she uh, she was basically the, like, really famous uh, woman from Benidorm who used to just shove things up her blurt. Oh, And, like, nice. pull it out, like, magic tricks, like, fucking silk scarves for days, man, you know, like, fucking, she's getting a five-minute spot at the pub before she died, man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... But- Ladies and gentlemen, J- gentlemen, gentlemen, whatever you identify as, uh, welcome back to the User Hacknik Podcast with me, Justin Freeburn, and me, Big Soup, Stephen, Soupate, whatever it is. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> he, he doesn't even know at this point. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, this is episode 29, I think. Uh, this one is uh, like we don't even have anything really to talk about so no, we'll just, man, sort of just <laughs> roll it and let's just run bits it. past each other like, yeah. it's just be like, yeah, Jake this is funny mate fucking, yeah. <laughs> that's literally what we do when we're not making music like, like, 100% I've got this one I was thinking about the way up the road and <laughs> I was a uh, actually um I actually did want to talk about uh, Sticky Vicky, but now that you don't know who the fuck um, she is. Yeah, unfortunately she has a, I can pretend if you want like, <laughs> <laughs> pretend to know for me Um, she has a a, a, a daughter I think it is I don't know if it's a real daughter right or like you know maybe it's something that you know she uh, it's just one of them people she called know. Adhesive Annie <laughs> <laughs> I thought see she's called like a Sticky Star or something right and I thought it would have been great to call her Sticky Legacy but whatever um, <laughs> the, I swear to god like it was a she literally I think I think it was one of them things where it was like you know when like Batman and Robin sort of thing like he's not his biological son like but you know yeah 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 he roped him in and he's beating the cunt out of people now like you know <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's yeah. beating the cunt out of herself <laughs> <laughs> oh, pull the whole fucking Minaris out of her dude like <laughs> <laughs> whole fucking next fucking uh, mate I'm broken Christmas Eve sale yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whole, whole furniture section out of blood <laughs> but no, I've never seen Benidorm I've you know I've seen it on but I've never watched it but yeah. we were th- me and my mates were thinking about going holidays there um, over the past summer and we were like oh where we go where we go and he was like we're going to Benidorm and he's like is that not just like for one reason <laughs> yeah but no but I didn't I have, I have no concept of what Benidorm is but then I suppose all them holidays are the same, aren't they? They're just the same strip with the same reps trying to get you in for two euro pints. Like. Yeah, true. I know it is always the same shit. We went to Ibiza a few years ago and they did the exact same thing where they were like, uh, I think we scammed the fuck out of them. They're all, right, okay, five euro each, five euro. You know, I'm yeah. not going to do the accent. Uh, <laughs> get that on the Patreon. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> like They were like, you know, five euro, five euro, you give you give you five shots and two drinks each. And I was like, Two bottles of Absolute each. <laughs> like, you know, you try your arm with them. And yeah. we, we walked away with like a bottle of Absolute, like two jugs of fucking drink. Yeah. Uh, I think it was like nine shots or something. And like uh, like two mixers. And it was like, I think it was like 450 or something. We'd like haggled them right down to that. Mad. It's all water. Like, you know, it was yeah, all Yeah, it's all fucking... pace. Like, I love doing that. But see, I don't like. <clears throat> so we went to Portugal in like May. And then we were thinking about going somewhere else. My mates were like Benidorm. And we ended up just doing the right thing and going back to the exact same place we went. So we went to Alba Fiera again, right? Great crack, all the rest. But the last night... Great crack if you're a mother and father. You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what there's the old town, the new town. Like, it was good crack, right? <laughs> Trust me. But uh, <laughs> uh, so I don't, you know, all the all the reps trying to get you in and shit. Yeah. I, uh, I was like, this guy kept trying to get me in. And I was like, nah, mate, I'm going to see a friend here or whatever. Just batting him off every time, you know? Yeah. And then on the last night, we were like, right, we'll take a holiday tonight. Like, flight early enough tomorrow and stuff. And we walked past this guy, he was like, come in, come in. And I was like, oh, no, I mean, he was like, you told me three days in a row you're going to come in. And I was like, I remember, I feel bad, right? So I goes, fuck it, I'm going for a pint. Cheap anyway, I didn't know why I didn't go in. It was just, I was being a dick, right? And, um, Were you walking on your own each time? No, no, it was just me and Do one you have or like a <laughs> 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 solo trip to fucking Alba Fira. But, uh, so let the, let the parents go out for top boss. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, Not uh, more important than kids. <laughs> except top boss. <laughs> 
We know the Madeline McCann jokes out of the way we were talking about this earlier. Like, Madeline McCann is like the baseline for every comedian's joke history. Oh, you know, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. You need to start yeah. off. You start strong. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? So, but what were you saying? I was, always with, I was always with me. It was just bullshitting them. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I would tell reps sometimes I work on this trip, they leave you alone. Just because yeah. I don't want to be annoyed. Like, I'll go where I want to go. Like, you know. But um, <coughs> he goes to me, Oh, this job's hard. And I was like, How hard could it be? And he was like, You try it. I was like, you fucking certainly, <laughs> right? So I took his, uh, you know, those wee fucking lanyard thing and all. His name's like Ramesh or something. And I was like, I'm Ramesh for the night. So I was trying It's me, get, Muhammad. But I go, uh, <laughs> Mahmoud. <laughs> fucking assalamu alaikum, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Martial law, brother. Yeah. Martial law, bro. Martial law, Mukara. But we, so I was like trying to get people in. So I goes in before and I was like, for every person I get in, I get a free shot. He's like, yeah, certainly. It was pure fucking my waddy. Like, but <laughs> I was standing on the strip trying to get people in and then it got to the stage where like no one was biting. So I was talking to people and I was like, if you come in, I get a free shot, please. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of people in and I was wearing this shirt and the sweat beating clean off me after three days of drinking. And like, it was just this big sweaty cunt coming up to them being like, Pay for three euro. And I, I can't like, believe like, I'm in debt. <laughs> 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 I owe three drug dealers their drug money. I fucking I owe nine blowjobs. We'll need a police is bad drink. <laughs> Step foot in the door. Step foot in the door. <laughs> yeah, but it was, it was fucking mental. But in fairness to me, was giving me the free shots every time I was getting people in. And it was great crack, but I couldn't do it for a job. Fuck that noise. Like, you know, I might yeah. work from home. I could be office hands, but I can't be in the fucking whale too long. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can't, I can't do it. Out in the wild, you know? <laughs> we can throw lead fingers. You I can turn into fucking Donny from the Wild Thorn Breeze. Have you ever watched that? I'm so sorry, I don't get that. Oh, man, so fucking... <laughs> blah, 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 blah. It was fucking great. That was a great show growing up. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I... I I, like I went to the party holidays and I was yeah. like, mm, you know, whenever like I turned around and there was a, uh, the first day we got there and we, the wee looky looky man came rocking up, you know, them fellas fucking tray in their hands, fucking oh. coke spoon right there. You know? <laughs> yeah. And they woke up and they're like, uh, my brother, my brother, coke spoon. You know? <laughs> and, uh, we were like, no, 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 it's all right. And the guy just turns around and goes, like, literally the first one, he was like, fuck your mother and your family or something. We yeah, were like, really? like what? Yeah. <laughs> and we were like, is this the way they treat you? What the fuck? Yeah. The rest of them, all lovely. Yeah. Like, the whole rest of the holiday, it was our very first one, was just a prick. And but we it's like, mad, like, because I, I, the party holiday was good, crack and all, I ended up doing two of them, but I obviously enjoyed it that much. But after the second one, I was like, hey, um, I just feel disgusting right now. Like, you know what I mean? Just three <laughs> days just drinking. Like, but see that, so, see them fellas trying to go up and sell you sunglasses and all. The first time I ever encountered one, I was like, oh, he's class crack. He, like, you know, you say you're actually like, oh, Pug Mahone and all. And I'm like, ah, oh, he fucking knows that he, he knows said it. it. No, yeah, I mean, I'm and then uh, there was one that, so I you didn't. You Mowgli Bop. I didn't, <laughs> <make him>. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't fall for it after a while. I was like, it's just a little bit like a farce, like, you know. Yeah. And then he he said one thing that was a fucking cracker, though. He was like, where are you from? And he's like, I was like, Ireland. He was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> My brother from Senegal, your brother from Donegal. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's fair enough, mate. Here's five euro. Give me them fucking Roy Bones. Will you? <laughs> Guess what? I'm fucking light up twisty hands, mate. <laughs> Thinks you press the button and goes, woo, 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 woo. But it's mad. They love it. Like, see, as soon as you mentioned cops, like, they're gone. Just oh, yeah. off into the alleys. Like, I know, mate. I fucking. I wish I knew that at the time whenever we were there because the amount of them would just hound you and harass you, uh, like, throw them at you at once. Yeah, they don't even like, really like, read right now. Like, you know, fucking. <laughs> You know, like they're coming up there, and I, feel, I, I wish I knew at the time just to go meet. There's fucking four cops sitting up there. I would, I wouldn't be doing this. Yeah, right. yeah. But I feel like the ones in Ibiza though, they're like we own the cops. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are the they are the cops. Like. <laughs> just put the wee hot on. <laughs> it's Switch the wee stag. Do you hot for for a cop hat? You know, like. probably still selling the cop hat too. As well. <laughs> Do you want to buy my badge? <laughs> I don't know why they're all Ukrainian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great crack though. If you had any, or we, it was funny actually. We um. On the last two days of Ibiza, we got sick, funny enough, and we were, like, bedridden for, like, two days, so right. watching fucking Bruce Lee's Enter the Dragon in Spanish, man, I was like, what the fuck am I watching here? <laughs> ordered a fucking Deliveroo, and it came, like, in an hour and a half, man, and I was like, we ordered this from the shop up the road, we yeah. could have walked up and got that within about four minutes. Yeah, fuck. And uh, we literally, um, on the last night, we, the, the night, actually, we got all, like, the free drink and all, we went back, and uh, in the middle of the night, I must have been sick all over the floor because uh, <laughs> I went to get up that morning to go take a piss and my mate Adron was like sleeping with, like in the same room as me and he turned around to me and he goes, watch that sick. And I turned around and I was all, mate, did you fucking throw up? Why did you not clean it? <laughs> and he was all, it was you, you dickhead. <laughs> and I was like walking across the floor being like, mate, that's spaghetti bolognese, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and I stood for like fucking like sick as a dog. I woke up like a fucking mess that day. Yeah, yeah. And I was like sitting clean it, hung over, dosed with a flu or whatever the fuck it was. Uh, and just literally just sent wiping spaghetti bolognese out of the floor like horrendous like when Burr Hans is picking it up into the bin like but our our, our fucking um, our holiday got so like just all the steaming all the time and I was talking to my mate on the on the balcony we were just smoking just chain smoking fags just talking shit and uh, I just turned around and see it just took a bad talk of a fag like just yeah. far too many fucking sagres <laughs> and just turned around and just was sick but it was so mad because I was just sick nonchalantly like politely if you can do that and then just turn around to him and he was just like continued his sentence like just as if nothing <laughs> happened and I was just wiping the sick out of my beer being like yeah man yeah, fuck it's mad isn't it like, you know what I mean and then no one mentioned it afterward and then my mate but I walked out and he was like soupy sick yeah <laughs> he's like yeah and he's like ah, it soup soup <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's broth is it it's despacho <laughs> me and Adam Byrne were in the pub one night and uh, someone bought us I think we like got a free drink token or something yeah. out of it, just randomly and you know when they give away them fucking 10 pound drink vouchers yeah, yeah, yeah. me and Adam just got handed one randomly Class. and we were like sweet two pints yeah. and, uh, if you're lucky these days <laughs> Adam had already drank like two pints it wasn't that long, long ago it was a few months ago and uh, it was the last time me and Adam went down together I'm pretty sure and uh, literally the drink the, like I I had one pint because I was driving but he had had like three at this point and I literally couldn't, like he was like, would you fucking drink that? Hurry up, sir, fucking drink that. Get that idea to fuck. And yeah. I like, I got like halfway down it and I was like, man, I don't want to be knacking this and then hitting the fucking motorway. Like, you know, yeah. but it was only pint, like, but whatever, you know, I'd had three before that. And, um, <laughs> five and drink, man, that's really. <laughs> and uh, he was like, give me that the fuck. And he drank it, he knacked it. And he was like, he was just like, all right, we scooby doing here, we, we spin the wheels. And I was like, yeah, no worries. We walked outside and uh, like out to like that front bit or like that back bit out the path where everyone parks. Yeah. And uh, he just went, uh, and I was like, what are you doing? I was like, you all right? And he goes, <laughs> he just threw up all over the fucking main road. And he just looked at me and he went, he went, oh, that's me. And then he went, nope. And he went, anyway, we go on now, yeah, you dropped yeah. me home. And I was like, holy fuck. Again, it was one of them ones where it was just so nonchalant. Yeah, Somebody like, just need to get it out of you. That's just it. Yeah. Like, that's just it. But it's always nice smoking a fag. I just, I think I was talking far too much shite. Yeah. And I just, I like go to laugh or something when I'm smoking yeah. it. And then it just comes, just something fucks up. Like, you know, it just fucks Jesus. up the rhythm. Like. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I've booked a couple of times just nonchalantly. Like, and I just forgot to stage now. Remind me, it's like, ah, oh, super sick, no bother. And it's like, so <laughs> clean. I've got to stage now down, like, where <laughs> I don't get nobody it. dope as me. I threw up so fresh, so clean. <laughs> <laughs> so fresh and so clean, clean. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, the fucking nights out are good crack. Like, but they're bad. Fucking. Uh, the mental health on a steady decline like, you know what I mean? like it's 27 like what am I doing you know what I mean get, get a child or something what you mate you're from Newry you should be a grander by now <laughs> or <least>. dead <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just a friar tux overdose <laughs> but um, yeah no it was just it was a weird situation like the even in Ibiza like because one end of the town is all five pound fucking you, you can buy the bar mate you know yeah. like, literally you can buy like, I, you can take coke out of a stripper's hole here for three euro you know yeah and then, like, the other side of the town, in that fucking, like, that big-ass, like, open nightclub called Ushuaia. Um, right. I can't remember who was playing fucking... So Eric Prids or something, I don't know. Yeah, some sort know. of ounce ounce anyway. Yeah, like. same shit. Like, it was all fucking 3D and shit. It was wild. Yeah. And uh, I went up to a bar, and I was like, how much is it, like, a vodka and coke? And she was all 90 euro. And I was all... Na- Nine, nine, 19 euro I yeah. thought she said 19 and yeah, I went that's that, metal yeah. like fucking 19 euros she went no nine zero ninety, and I was all uh, so can you, do you mind if I go take a loan out here fucking <laughs> yeah, it, sell ring, the firstborn child fucking it? ring L credit you know no <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Compare the fucking El Meerkat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know enough Spanish for any more jokes. It's just L and O. Like, that's all it is, man. Moonpig.com. Oh, fuck's sake. I'm just thinking of TV adverts. <laughs> yeah. Moonpig.es. Es is the yeah. thing of that. For that's com, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I swear, though, like, I was like, when she said 90 and you had a fucking aneurysm on the spot, like, I was like, there's no reason for this to be 90. No, it's ridiculous, man. Some old fellow were like, like three girls around him like I mean like this guy was like 60 you yeah, know? And yeah. it was only guys you were like you're too old to be wearing the clothes you were wearing mate yeah, take yeah, the snap yeah. back off like, you're <laughs> way in vinegar like. you know, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> funny enough he fucking he runs like four of the nightclubs out there yeah um, and uh, like literally I was like 
oh, this is this guy is mental, like, and he just goes, uh, four bl- vodka black currants, please. And I was like, I would eat, wait, wait, here's the fucking price, is he? Oh, fucking, you're shy, this fucking cacks or so, you And they went, oh, yeah, that's whatever amount, fucking 200, 300 euro. Yeah. And he went, no problem, do you take card? And I was like, ah! Stay that, man. I was Stay like, fucking kill yourself, mate. My These three women just sitting around him texting their boyfriends. You know, like. <laughs> My mate was chatting up a girl, and the second time we went to um, Portugal, and she was like, she was like from she was from the ends, man, like East London or something, you know. And, yeah. like, and uh, I see him talking to her, and I was like, just whatever, cool. Turn around, talk to the boys, and he was like, you go out to the bar, and he's like, soup, do you want anything? And I was like, I'm all good, man. I had a fucking Hennessy in the rocks, like a fucking G, right? And uh, didn't even drink it. He had drank it on me. Give me the bottle, bitch. But man, pop smoke was on, and I was like, I can't walk past this dance floor to go to, for a piss without throwing a wee shape. Like, <laughs> I stayed there for ages, come back, and my Hennessy was gone. The cunt drank it, but he tried, he was like, oh, wait, just came and took it. I was like, shouldn't take a full thing, Hennessy. Like, was she fucking drink and set the glass, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, But anyway, he's buying this girl a drink. And um, I went up to him with the bar. I went up to the bar with him, and uh, he was like, "Yeah, man." She was like asking me for like Chirac and like Grey Goose and all, like as a mixer or like as the the drink. She yeah, didn't want any mixer, of that. A mixer <laughs> for the Hennessy, <laughs> Chirac. Please. But she was like, and he was like, "I'm just gonna get the fucking shade vodka, like whatever the fucking bullshit vodka is." Yeah. So he um he bought the drink and he turned around to the bar and was like, "Like just what is that vodka?" And she was like, "Some sort of house vodka," I think she said, <laughs> and. Uh, he was like, yeah, if, if this girl asked, just say it was like Chirac or something. <laughs> and she would, he, he gave it to her and I was sitting watching from afar, took a drink. She was like, Ugh. I was like, first of all, fuck up. You're getting a drink, right? And then she, uh, she went out. I mean, the, like if it's Glenn's, you would know. Like <laughs> She went out to the bar and I was just watching. She's like, this isn't triple the still. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, I'll triple the still, you cunt. What is that? Kulov? What do you call Russian standard. What do you call the other one? Rosh Maninov. You know that one? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, she went up to the bar and all. I was like, "What a ballsy boss!" Went up to the bar and was like, "What vodka is this?" And my mate was like staring at the girl behind the bar, being like, "Please, say Chirac." She's like, "How's fuck you? <laughs> <laughs> Just sunk him. The girl just walked away. I was like, "Dick move for a I don't start. give me the like, fuck a drink back for yeah, one. <laughs> fuck you. Like, I don't think she finished it, man. I think he ended up drinking it. But I was like, "Nuts!" Like, I was like, "What the fuck? When you're gonna drink? Like, so what? Mate, Paint not... stripper. If anything, all the Chirac and all sort of cake. Like, yeah. Whenever I was single, um, I remember these two girls came up to the bar. No, it was three. It was three and one like they're like gay best friend or something, you know. And uh, I was like, and the girl I was talking to, um, I was like, you want me a drink? I'll get, I'll get you a drink. What do you want? What do you want? Yeah. And she went, oh my god, you're gonna get me a drink. And I was like, oh, I fucking no boy, like you know me, fucking comedian money and all. Yeah, I yeah. had two gigs under my belt, you know. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she, she was you got like, paid petrol money for the power, like <laughs> <laughs> if even motherfucker. And uh, she like turned around and she was like, uh, she was like, oh my god, you're so nice. Wait there. What do you want? He's bad around. No. <laughs> and I was like, I'm bad or what? <laughs> and she was like, I was like, I'm not fucking bad for your mates. And she was like, um, she turned around and she was all, no, you said you'd get me a drink. And I was all, all right, not nine. You know, yeah, like, fuck and me. I turned around and I was all, you know what? No, you're not getting a drink. I was all fucking Jameson and Coke love. Whack her down the <laughs> yeah. table. Fucking, I'm out, dipped out, scooby dude, man. Yeah, I was like, fucked up, man. Yeah, no. I was like, fucking, I was like, I'm already getting called misogynistic too much recently. Like, I was like, <laughs> bitches be tripping, man. Yeah, I mean, bitches be shopping. But I, I get it, like, if you're a girl and all, like, I know girls that are just like, I don't, sometimes if I'm skint going on that, I'll just be like, can I get a drink, please? You know what I mean? <laughs> they'll just get a drink and it's cool. And like, I know, 100%. Especially, like, girls, you know, that are fucking, you know, like, studying and stuff, you know. Like, yeah, I mean, fucking. I mean, I haven't talked to a girl since I was fucking 20, like, but, like. <laughs> yeah, I, I so have heard. That <laughs> about, yeah. No, Abby, no, these are these are metaphors. <laughs> Just go listen to this and kneecap me. And uh, no, I, I like I I I hated it. Like I hated see whenever I was single and like, but like I get why they would yeah. do it. You know, Abby used to do it flat out. Like my like the first time I was out with Abby, some guy at the bar bought her a drink and she came back with Jameson and Coke and like a fucking vodka black heart and handed me the Jameson and Coke. Goes he bought these and I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, for one class two, you're not doing that anymore. Yeah, I was like, yeah. You know, I was like, I don't care how free it is, I'll buy you the drink. Yeah. But if you can get an all one off and double next time, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the principle, like, yeah. <laughs> but I get it. Like, so I, I said, my mates, they're just like, yeah, man, sometimes I'm just skint and the girls want me to go out and I'll just be like, I know I'm going to get drinks and I'll just get them. Yeah. And it's not fuck your well entitled to do it. Like, you fuck. <coughs> it's, it's a gesture of goodwill. Like, take it yeah. and that's it. You know what I mean? There was, um, we, me and Autumn were like the kings of scam and drinks because for one, we dropped the comedy title every yeah. single night we're out. And uh, we'll like turn around to people and be like, oh, sure, we're comedians and all. And next thing you know, they're all like, tell us a joke. And we're like, ah, for a pint, we will. And then they're like, you know, they buy us a pint or something. And we're like, we're like, oh, sure, you couldn't afford me anyway, dickhead. <laughs> you're, you're, you're the joke, you know. And like, we would like fucking, like, Autumn's the worst for it. Like, Autumn Byrne, you'll probably see him in the podcast. You've probably seen him. You probably will see him. Autumn Byrne, short back on what's top of the podcast. Go check him out. He's sick. And, uh, he literally, like, the other week, some guy came up just straight out the gate, sectarian. Autumn, like he was all, what's your name, mate? I know. He walked over, right? And he goes, I know your face,
and uh, Adam was all, I, I'm a comedian, I don't know. And uh, like he turned, Adam goes, where are you from, lad? And he goes, Port it down. And I went, how do you know his face is not mine? I'm fucking <laughs> drinking, Port it down, flat out. I was like, what the hell? And uh, Mr. Port it down over here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The pit bull of Port it down. <laughs> it's the name of the episode. Um, but uh, I was like so annoyed because I was like, uh, he didn't recognize me, but then Adam got him a cracker because Adam told me he was like, uh, he was like texting my ex and also he was while I was going out where he was trying to text her and she wasn't replying he was yeah. liking all her photos and all yeah. and I was like really and I was like where is he now and he's like, he was like he's way up getting me a pint <laughs> and I was, like, I was like mate tuck your cock back in like it's hitting the floor last yeah year. that's way better than a dig to the bake like, you know what I mean like, see, if, see if you get uh, uh, one of the ops to buy you a pint exactly like, and I was like he, uh, and then he bought him like three more after that I was like this man is the scammer of the century he like, walks up with the last pint like you're going to woman <laughs> <laughs> I was like I have no idea how people do that I'm too like uncomfortable to do that to like normal people yeah but like see if it's like some fucking nutcase and I'm like and they're like comedian I and I'm like oh fuck yeah and they're like tell us a wee fu- and tell us yeah, a wee yeah. anecdote, yeah. anecdote or something you know <laughs> yeah. and I'm like oh if you get me a fucking double Jameson and coke and but fucking I'm, nine drinks from my mates <laughs> <laughs> but see I'm the kindest cunt in the world where like I, I was at a James last night at Madden's I was like seeing him drinking like I, I've had a fags like I'm like oh do you want a fag like nah I don't smoke man I've been yeah. off and I'm fucking you know I nearly lost the house because of my fucking fag election I'm like I'll take it for later <laughs> like <laughs> I make them take fags and I'm like yeah. see if someone goes to buy me a drink like no fuck I'm getting you the drink you know what I mean I'm just like <coughs> actually yeah. you know I'm coming home skint I'm like why the fuck they do that look at all my like my bank and shit it's just yeah. like random <laughs> fucking 12 quids and I'm like hey what the fuck like oh mate I, I used to be like that back when before I went like fully broke just doing comedy full time yeah. like I mean like my only income was literally I didn't go in the dole or anything for like 4 months or yeah. 4 or 5 months so it was like my only income was literally anything I made from gigs Yeah. luckily I started getting to the point with gigs where like people pay you fucking 70, 100 quid and all so yeah. you know you get like petrol money for the week yeah and like uh, before that, I used to go out and literally be like, right, who wants fucking drinks here, lad? Who's <laughs> yeah. fucking, you know, and just dish out the card left, yeah. right, and centre. You know, Abby's friends would come out and I'd go, right, get you all a drink. What do you want? Yeah, yeah, you be saying gay. Like, but yeah. there's, there's, a, there's a balance there somewhere where, like, you know. Uh, but now I'm like, if someone goes, can you get me a drink? I'll go, yeah, you buy me the first two. <laughs> yeah. and I'll go home. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, the, it's the classic fucking. Uh, I get the taxi, you get the, <laughs> you get the paint. You get the taxi, I'll get the paints inside, lad. <laughs> Disappears. Yeah, just stay in the smoking area, not a drink inside. <laughs> mouth that Gandhi's flip flop the whole night, just pure sterling fresh burst gob. <laughs> I refuse to go get a drink now because I owe that one. Yeah, it's mental. Like, but uh, now I'm the stingiest bastard ever. Like, I swear, like, any time I like, go on a night out or something, I will scam as many drinks as I can before yeah. I pay for a single drop. Yeah. Like, if I'm out with people, especially. You know, I'll I'll like go up to them and uh, like if they're at the bar and I'll be like, I could just I'm, I don't even know if I want to get a drink. You know, yeah. and they'll go no, I'll, I'll, you know I'll like pretend to be. T- I'm giving away my secrets here, but uh, <laughs> like I'll be like, oh man, I'm knackered. No fuck, I don't think I could drink. And I'll drink. Yeah. And I'll, Listen, lad, I'll get yet. I'll get yet. And I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking steaming. I'm like, please. <laughs> yeah, so you know, someone that you can pass on a drink like purple death page, like. Oh yeah, <laughs> mortgage. That's not yeah. So when, like people, you're like, what do you want, love? What do you want to eat, drink, guy? And they're like, I right, can I have the uh, Saint Laurent Dawn? Fucking, like you know, <laughs> what do you call that girl? Uh, the, the girl from Bad Fast drinks all the drinks and all. You know the one, the one I'm talking about, the fucking the straw we, and all. Yeah, she um she goes into all the carriots and she's like, this carriot and voucher is fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but she like. Um, it just puts like absolute abominations of just absolute food colouring into a fucking yeah. glass and just downs it all it's like cannot wait to go out tonight and like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man but she like I like it's weird I watch her and be like you're definitely great crack <laughs> you know, you're definitely great crack uh, see I see people like that and I go I like I'd love to be your mate but not for long. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd sure a drink with you. You know what I mean? Yeah, like on a night out, I would be like, oh, we're fucking mates. And then the next morning, I wake up and I go, if you're near me at all, just <laughs> yeah. deleting your Instagram name off my phone and all, like fucking, you know, the amount of people that do that as well. See, the amount of people go, give me your Instagram, lad. Oh, if you get a follow, you wake up the next day, two followers down somehow. You're like, how did they unfollow me twice? You know, like, <laughs> made a new account. Just don't <laughs> well, and see, many times, like, after an hour, I actually went through my Instagram the other day. I purge every once in a while to be yeah. like, you know, because there's a lot of people who I have a lot of time for, but, you know, it's that level of friendship where I'm like, I don't care about your Sunday dinner. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like, and if I'm oh, going to spend... Stop fucking posing my name, Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no but more it, Chinese for soup on my story. <laughs> yeah, no, no, man. No, in fairness, though, any dinners on the go, I'll take them. Right? You know what I mean? like, that's the only thing I do, actually. Like, But, you know, I went through in Paris. I was like, I've met these people on, people on nights out before. I'm just like, I really appreciate the follow. I 
do not know you enough to like <laughs> yeah. care about you know your things like <laughs> you're like oh, this con from fucking Maher felt that I met yeah, <laughs> yeah. man that's but, like there is there is some people there that hang about like you know what I mean and again it's not impersonal because I bumped into someone one time I done a big massive purge over like lockdown and stuff you know just like fuck right the head was reactive was just like right I'm gonna just clear out all this shit unfollow a lot of people that I actually still like I'm f- I would say I'm friends with and I would like yeah. you know, bump into like maybe a couple times a month or whatever and yeah. one of them called me on it and it was it was saying like oh, you don't follow me on Instagram I was like. You were just posting you're too like, much shit, mum. If you're not gonna be, posting <laughs> <laughs> but it was more. Say if you're not posting your Sunday dinner, right? <laughs> That's but so I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was shit. No, I'm, I'm furnace though. Dinner's my house class. Can't you tell? Oh. But um, <laughs> yeah, man. I just was like, I just like no one likes somebody posts flat out and just like yeah. unnecessary things. It's like you know, coffee Wednesday. It's like, what happens yeah. if you drink a coffee on a Tuesday? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and, I, and the people who like I'm seeing this a lot recently. For some reason, people are starting to post like thirty memes in their stories, yeah. and I keep thinking they're getting hacked because <laughs> it's like the same people posting like thirty fucking different reels in their story yeah. of like other fucking meme accounts and all. Yeah. And I'm like, lad, make a TikTok, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, D- eat, share it with your mates, put it in a group chat or something, you know? Yeah, I don't mind. I'm in a couple of private stories in the post memes, and I'm like, yeah. that's handy because instead of choosing people to send it to, exactly, you just fire yeah. it in there, and it's 100%, cool. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's yeah. all right. But I mean, like in their public story, and they're like six thousand followers, and I'm like, lad, you've posted thirty five memes a day. Yeah, and like a picture of your fucking coffee. You it's know, like Snoop Dogg. Like, I don't follow Snoop Dogg. All that man does is just repost like World Star. I'm like, yeah, exactly. A man needs to fucking chill out. You know? Did you see his thing recently where he was like? I'm giving up the smoke after long consideration yeah, and it was yeah. just like promotion like for his new album or some shit. No, it was like some sort of fucking smokeless fireplace or something. Yeah. It's like, yeah. But it's like, what do you call that? That's peat free smoke. It's like, we've had that over here for years. <laughs> <laughs> or it's peat free smoke, smoke free peat. <laughs> Get a fucking electric blanket lot. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. I mean, Cheaper than the electric lot. <laughs> I swear to God. You'd be shocked. <laughs> but um, no, uh, I just, I, I'm getting so annoyed with people's stories, man. So you just the amount of like, bullshit stuff of like people being like oh sure like where else would you be and it's a fucking Monday and uh, they're, like a Monday afternoon where you're supposed to be in fucking work for one yeah. and they're in like fucking bomb birds and you're like yeah. <laughs> bomb birds. you're like who the fuck like no one give a fuck about that like yeah no, no and they see like it's five o'clock somewhere shit like that as well but the thing is like it's more a fool of me like because I'm just sitting watching them mindlessly just yeah and then you're just looking at shit and every once in a while I get pissed off and just go you're you're out that's it sorry you didn't make the cut you know yeah. I, like I mean fuck it's such a high standard I have for my fucking social media accounts. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's just sometimes you just get that wee burst of like, because you all know social media is just fucking rotten or rain from the inside oh, yeah, out. Like, you know what I mean? So yeah. I get wee bursts of it once in a while and just be like, I'm fucking deleting it all. It's fucking shit. You know what yeah. I mean? And then they're like, if I had a fucking, I would love a social media manager or something. I would love someone, I keep trying to beg Abby to do it for me. Yeah. Where I'm like, can you She'd just, be good take, at it too. I'm She'd like, could you just take over all my socials? Yeah. And just like, not have me do anything at all. Like yeah. let you literally just tell me right where am I booked for, and then I'll go to it. And yeah. Go, if you could just do that for me, and I'll just go completely like fucking. I'll 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 take a wee Nokia flip phone flip flip flop. Yeah. <laughs> a wee Nokia flip phone just to fucking ring my ma. Yeah. And I'll be home for dinner tonight. Just you know? to, yeah, just to keep in contact with some sort of outside world like yeah. the mean But it's it's mad like, um like. So you're saying about oh where I'm a book for like people come up to me sometimes and be like oh suit man see you doing the comedy all now all good and I'm like when's your next gig mm-hmm. and I'm like I've got like one gig and I don't even know when it is you know what I mean <laughs> and I'm just like how, like I remember watching like you know all the big hitters and podcasts from yeah. from here like I, they're, they're talking about like oh come see me in here and here and they're yeah. like what date is that again I'm like how do you not remember the dates and I'm doing the pub this Monday and I just remembered you know what I mean like that's <laughs> that's literally what it is. so people come up to me and I just be like I'm a link tree gimp in my bio look there I'll just have oh, it up yeah. you know what I mean I it's just handy Like I, I never realised how like handy the link tree was so see handy. I like looked at like the statistics of my link tree yeah. I get more clicks on it than I do like fucking like likes or like shares on yeah. the posts and all I was like what the fuck you know I was like looking at it and there was like hundreds of people like clicking like the port side end links and also yeah. people are like obviously buying tickets off that yeah. and I'm like fucking class you know yeah I, I, I actually give you views the first couple of times but I'm assuming it was just people being like What's this we get back? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, a, but then a lot of it was like, like the start, yeah. a lot of it was me just being like, it's me OCD being like, is that symmetrical? <laughs> <laughs> Did I spell that right? See, because I like completely, I, I completely like washed my whole social media whenever I started comedy. I yeah. just went like, and just so that I actually find off yeah, from yeah. like, I literally started a whole new Instagram page for comedy. And uh, I think that's why the clips do well because every follower I have isn't a follower from like the past. Yeah. It's all following from comedy. Yeah. So yeah. like people, you know, start comedy and they've got like 700 followers and then they're like a year or two in 
and they've got like a thousand five hundred. Yeah. You know, or like even just a thousand, but that's three hundred comedy followers. Yeah. Whereas I've got like fucking six hundred comedy followers. You yeah. Know, it's yeah. obviously not a lot compared to some people, but yeah, yeah. You know, at this level, it fucking does alright. Yeah, of course. Especially but you, you with know, the clips, they're yeah, metal numbers. Yeah, of course, man. But you know, then when you're putting out like right, everyone wants this. Not everyone wants to see this, but like everyone is expecting to see this. Yeah, you know what exactly. I mean? Whereas yeah. I debated to start being like, why, well, why well, making you on Instagram? Are you yeah. hash on? I was like, fuck it, man. I've already got you know. A few, a few hundred followers there, whatever the fuck it is, and if people want to follow me, sound man, you know what I mean? Like I don't give a fuck, you know what I mean? I don't really care how many followers I have. It's just for the people that actually do care. It's like let's just all chill together and just yeah. you can swap that if you want. It's good crack. Here's exactly. some more banter. Like so, I just purged my Instagram and was like, great. The last post I had up was like fucking me going to Skepton in 2019, which banger. But uh, <laughs> like I was just like, great. I'm like. I even Instagram at, shut down. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just took a photos from me in 2019. Me now, I'm like, I'm not even the same person. So it's just like I just deleted them all yeah. and just started with the comedy thing. Then it was exactly. just like I didn't want to be like soupy comedy or not shit. I was like, I'm yeah. just gonna keep it the same. That's what I mean. You especially, know what the crack is like, especially like because we're doing music and stuff now. You want to keep it as vague as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why user hectic at the minute. Just there's no title to it. It's user hectic, and then it's just. Like as corny as it sounds, I I think of it as a brand. Yeah, you know, yeah. like it's the like user hack because like the umbrella for yeah. everything that's underneath yeah. it. it sounds know? like a pyramid scheme, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually multi level marketing. Yeah, draw it's it out for me. That's a pyramid a funnel system. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. if you would like to join? You can actually dish out. You can be your own boss, really, yeah, uh, and uh, you can get loads and loads of views from this. I'm trying to think of a joke, but I can't. Yeah, I actually <laughs> near fell for a pyramid scheme one time, but I was actually finding a thing in this today. <laughs> I, the first time I had the dairy. Uh, long story short I'm not going to you know d- uh, fucking defame anyone or anything uh, I was working in this cafe was good customer service all the rest talking shit the guy came up to me he was like give me my card for this company to basically go door to door and sell things right mm-hmm. and he was like and there's a training session up in Derry four days all paid for there's food I was like I'm in <laughs> and then you had me at food <laughs> yeah chicken nuggies <laughs> yeah and he was like I said like, yeah cool whatever and then I looked in and I was like this is a Pyramid scheme, but I was like, fuck it. Free dairy, it is now. Right? <laughs> so, when up, it's like they want you to get like a free set of golf clubs out, you know, and they're like, <laughs> you know, you like go for like set for an hour. You know, you always sit in the movies with like the set for like an hour, and they're like, ah, so where's my free golf clubs? And then next thing you know, they're like, oh, wait, so I can like buy into this? Like, oh, no, I could be my own boss, you yeah, know? man. But like, there was elements of it, I was like, that would be good, but then it was just like, they tied you up in some weird bullshit way, like, you know, pure, it was pure predatory like you know <laughs> and then um i remember just like on the last day they got like we were steaming the night before like you got fucking pints and all it was good crack like don't get me wrong <laughs> and then you just uh, went for the sesh man <laughs> yeah, that's what, honestly it was man it was and uh, <laughs> you're like the, the like, lad fucking doing the seminar you're like listen get it back <laughs> yeah but i was i was fucking i at this stage was a fucking real stoner like thank you don't smoke weed anymore i'm just fucking still depressed but uh, <laughs> but I so I went and just, just clear headed whatever I'm depressed <laughs> yeah yeah I know what I'm depressed about you know what I mean <laughs> but so I just was like going for a wee smoking all and just sort of chilling out everyone was painting away and I sort of felt like because I depressed, knew depressed but my reflexes are fucked <laughs> <laughs> yeah so but like everyone was just like in their own week clicking on and I was like I don't buy into any of this shit yeah. and they're all lapping it up and the last night this guy came in and the, the fucking guy was like, oh, he's one of the biggest salesmen. This man, visibly on coke. Like, I mean, <laughs> you know, you're like, that man's been energetic. This guy. Oh, he's like, he's one of them dudes wakes up in the morning. And he's like, oh, he was oh, whacked I mean, out We're of throwing it. midgets at dartboards tonight, you know, <laughs> yeah, like, fucking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, this is mad. And then the last day I was like, listen, I don't think it's for me, blah, 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 whatever. Like, but I remember going out being like, I just got to be trip there for the sweet. You know what I mean? It was nice. <laughs> like, but I remember just being like, felt so bad. I didn't want to say to everyone, like, yeah you are all falling for this bullshit. Yeah. Like, you know, I didn't want to be that guy. So I was like, you do what you want to do. If you're happy, that's cool. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I, yeah, I did a few bad. And then I, I was in a group chat, they all made, and they were all like, how many sales you got today? And so I was like, I've only got two. And they're like, you were right for eight hours, you only got two sales. That's, bull- <laughs> that's bullshit. Like, you know what I mean? That's, that's bullshit. Like, probably got none. They were just making up bullshit. Oh, yeah, yeah man. It was all it was all a big fucking force. Like, yeah. but I, I wouldn't mind going into sales and stuff as well. But it just seems like it's just every salesman you talk to is just. Depressed. I already am. I might as well just fucking double down. Like, you know I mean? <laughs> go for it. The running a comedy show is basically a fucking pyramid scheme. <laughs> yeah. Because like I'm like you know, oh yeah, but you comedians lot, and I'll give you this amount of money each, you know, and I, like <laughs> like you you bring in the tickets, you bring in the people, and yeah, come watch and all, and I'll pay you for it and all, and then. I like walk away with the most money. You know? Yeah, but so, that's, yeah, I actually haven't made any money off it. So. But that's the point, though, as well, because it's like it's a communal thing. Like, see if I'm doing yeah. a gig, like I'm sharing my thing because I want people to come see. You're also promoting yourself. Exactly, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like, you know, you're not getting 
you're not getting scammed in any way from the promoter. It's just like, if I can give you two, I'll give you two sound. But yeah. if not, it's an open mic, it's free. But at the same time, if, if I get like one follower from it, or even if I go up and do dog shit, I know that not to do, the change the joke for the next time. You know yeah. what I mean? It's all a learning curve. Like, and it's all a communal thing. Like, the the scene that the, the what they yeah. call the circuit it's all just it's good crack everyone's just sound as fuck you know what I mean not everyone but um <laughs> <laughs> but yeah um what I wanted to do was uh go through a random topic generator <laughs> right okay, okay so uh, yeah that's what we were talking about doing this so just <laughs> I love how the advert for it autism test <laughs> <laughs> we know we're autistic <laughs> uh, we uh, in work we have like a we all just have a wee like you know we we group like all mates and stuff but we all done the rads R test that's what you call it like yeah. you know and um, we were like I think it's the lower score you have like the the less amount of autism you have if that's a thing <laughs> and we were like well, you got a wild dose of the autism <laughs> <laughs> like a couple of them have like 100 and all and a mate of mine's got like 13 but I'm like it's bullshit because the guy who's got 13 could tell you the square root of pay you know what I mean <laughs> and then like the guy's like two hundred. Nah, he's definitely autistic. Actually, so he's definitely. <laughs> Everyone's like, fucking autistic, man. Oh yeah, like, it's good crack. I've definitely got a nice wee mishmash of fucking mental illnesses there, but it's good crack. I think every, everyone like especially. I think I think everyone's autistic because we hang about com- comedians all the time. And every single one of them is on the fucking spectrum oh, somewhere. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. They're all fucking. This is this is a. Uh, someone ranted to me about this today. Uh, someone in my work is very very uh, into the comedy go to all the comedy shows like yeah. in the like open mics and stuff yeah, that's good. they love it all and they said they've been turned off comedy recently and I thought this was mental I thought this was a wild fucking thing for someone outside of comedy to say and they were like I've stopped going to open mics I only go to things like Lavery's and all now yeah. and I was like why what was, what, what's the problem with that? and they were like see the next fucking cunt on antidepressants that tells me they're neurodivergent I'm gonna fucking shoot up a comedy club and I was like to be fair that's just a lot of comedy at the minute yeah, you know? but about Newsflash Everybody, you know what I mean? Like, that's literally everybody, yeah. I know that's but I, I think their point was like, oh, comedy has became this whole thing of like, uh, it's uh, who's the most depressed, you can't like push any norms anymore. This yeah. all stemmed from the fact that I hate the fact that I can't say whatever I want, but I, <laughs> I was like, yeah, my comedy's fucking wild, like, I fucking can't even say the n word or not no more. <laughs> <laughs> what joke, you can't, you can't, <laughs> you, you can't. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, and they, they were like, man, they, I used to go to all the fucking open mics, started listening like open mics around here, and I was like, I've gigged at all these a hundred times, and they're like, I haven't wet in ages, like, and I was like, why not? And they were like, I just, I'm so sick of hearing about how depressed people are, and I was like, <laughs> I, was yeah. like I was like, holy fuck, man, fair enough, because like, you, you do notice there is a bit of a trend in that in comedy yeah, as well, but yeah, it's yeah. like people just telling the truth. But that's so. what it is, yeah, that's, and that's like. I what I love about comedy is like you'll you'll see slices of people's life like whether it's, whether it's embellished or not. Yeah. You know, you see come, someone come up and they're like, "Oh, I'm an antidepressant, and this is this side effect happened, and then this happened, and it's funny, yeah. whatever." You know, but you do see gems in there where you're like, "That's a fucking cracker." Yeah, but bit. that's that's what I mean. It needs to be done right if you're going to fucking do it. You know. Yeah. You yeah, can't yeah. just be going up and. Oh, what was me? Fucking, like, yeah. Yeah, you can't just go up and fucking. You know, do ten minutes of just I'm so sad, I hate everything, and yeah, blah blah blah, because yeah. people aren't going to enjoy that no, anymore. Man, no. And it's the reason why comedy clubs, you know, sell thirty tickets, and then you'll go to Lavery's where it's just a bunch of metal cunts saying whatever the fuck they want. I say it saying whatever the fuck they want. They're professionals, yeah, and they've read like, jokes, and yeah. they've done thousands of gigs to perfect them jokes into yeah. the way they've done it. Yeah. So that's not to say people just go out and say whatever the fuck you want on yeah. stage, like you know. People <laughs> texting Luke McGibbon tomorrow being like, listen, Johnson said we could do it. <laughs> you know? But like, people like, you know, it, it's the same thing where people have got that woke now, like woke. I don't like using that term woke because yeah. it, 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 it is like a stigma to it. Yeah. Because for one, I would like to think myself as a pretty woke guy because yeah. I'm very centered and everything. Yeah, yeah. Every opinion I have is always, I, I'm in the middle tell me your sides and I'll tell you what's mental about it. You know, yeah, yeah, give, I'm I not on one side going, yeah. no, you're wrong, you know. Yeah. But like the the whole fucking thing of like uh, it's became so you can't say this you can't say that you can't say this that no one is looking to push any boundaries anymore with yeah. comedy, you know. So like every comedy club in this country is now I'm not putting any fucking shit. Out. Every, there's thousands of comedians in this country that are million times better than me yeah. that deserve to be fucking like and they don't even do an edgy joke and they're yeah, just brilliant they're you know? excellent yeah but i just mean it is it is just a whole wave of like you know i'm depressed i'm this i'm that and then yeah. you get the other side which is a whole wave of people who are like right so what about the trans people you know yeah and you're like, yeah all right you know like <laughs> yeah there's a balance there somewhere, exactly like, and but that's that's what lavery sort of is yeah the balance it's is, the, but then as you said the there's professionalism you know? they're established comedians yeah. and they know how to tread that line like and they uh, also 
have the fan base of people who go, Aki's we skit there, isn't he? Yeah, just, we yeah. know he's joking, you know. Yeah. Whereas like if I went up and I said some mental shit about Gaza, you know, people would be like <laughs> fucking people are like, What what are you doing? You know, like yeah. but that's like that's the whole thing. Like where I think people get like that's what I think this whole fucking uh, sad comedy thing comes from yeah. is like people are so woke that they have went so far to one side and they're yeah. so f- afraid to talk about any other topic yeah. other than fucking, you know, how shit men are, that they're like, you know, all they have to joke about is their, like, their depression. Yeah. And I get, in some cases, and if you do it well, it is funny. Oh, yeah, there's some that There's wee bits sprinkled in it and all, and it's fucking, you know, it's good, yeah. correct? Yeah. But see, once you get to the stage where, like, you're doing a 15-minute set about it yeah. and the crowd, and you notice the crowd hadn't laughed since minute on, six, yeah. you know, and you're like, because people like ninety percent of people are just in the middle and they are just want they just want to hear you go. Let's let's just push the boundary a yeah. wee bit. Let's just let's Objectively just. Objectively speaking, this is funny. Yeah, like, like they, they just you know tip the needle a wee bit. Just yeah, you know, yeah. I want you to make me think a tiny bit, you know, yeah. but I also want you to just say the most fucked thing that comes to your mind. And that's why people like Dak the McBride recently have been fucking killing it. Killing it. Because he's just coming out and going, fuck, I hit my wife. You know, <laughs> yeah, you're like, I love we're it. in the 80s again, you know? <laughs> and I love it because, and I, I love it because he's, he's got this whole big bit. He had done it last night, so fucking funny. And we were talking about his wife and all, and his wife's in the crowd. And I'm like, it's good crack that you think it's good crack. You know what I mean? It's just like, but that's, I think. If his wife wasn't there supporting him, I'd be like, Jack, I'm chill out. <laughs> yeah. But I think it's a stoic approach to it. Cause like, I am of the opinion that like, you know, no, nothing's out of bounds for a exactly, bit of piss yeah. taking. For yeah. a bit of piss taking, but there's a way to do it. Like, if, oh, there if is, there's a wrong way to do yeah, it. Yeah. Like, if we're mean. slagging each other and, you know, like, oh, fucking, you have this, you have this, you do this, and it's good crack. Yeah. But then all of a sudden, if you're just like, you're a fucking fat boss or you're worth nothing, it's like, right, you've been a dick now. You yeah, know what I mean? Exactly, that's like, yeah. so there's a way to do it and just be sound about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I, my first couple of gigs, I was very, like, hard on myself on stage. Like, I wasn't pure, like, oh, what was me? But it was like taking the piss out of myself. Yeah. And that was, I think, a self defense mechanism for me where I was like, right. If I if this does go shit, at least I beat you to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I'm slagging myself. And then I remember Sean yeah. and Pete um said to me one day after Madden's were like a fucking great set man, but just You're so self deprecating. Yeah, don't be so self deprecating. It's funny because like the jokes I was saying were funny, but it was just like you don't want to lose the crowd then. You don't want yeah. them to like feel bad for you. You know what I mean? And even Pete was like, Fat jokes. Two or three of them is fine. And I was yeah. like, thank you. I've, I need to write a whole 15 new... minutes? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> but I was like, I need a whole new five minutes. <laughs> that's it. That's all I have, Pete. What do you yeah, want me to do? I have nine openers at the minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's yeah, self-deprecation. I, I weirdly learned that from the show Queer Eye. Right. Um, that I used to be quite self-deprecating and people were, like, texting me being like, you need to stop being so self-deprecating. Are you all right? Yeah, and I was like, you know, uh, literally had a fucking mental breakdown on stage like two weeks ago. <laughs> I literally told the crowd I was going to kill myself and it was their fault. <laughs> but uh, uh, like I used to be self deprecating Then I watched an episode of Queer Eye. Fucking class show, by the way. Get into Queer Eye if you want to cry your eyes out. Yeah. See if you want to fucking see if you have a hangover, man. And you watch an episode of Queer Eye. Like, I swear to God, I thought it was going to be too gay for me. Yeah. Because I'm like... There's a level of gay. too gay for me now. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Like, I mean, like, there's a level of gay it gets to where it's out of my bounds anymore. Yeah, like, I'm yeah. not, I'm not, you include, can't relate to it. I'm not included in the joke, in the joke anymore, yeah. you know, like, I'm not, you know, whatever, but like, it's sort of like, it gets to a point where it's like all their, their sense of humor is, oh, we're gay. No one else is allowed to be part of this, you know? And I'm yeah. like, fair enough. If that's what you want to do. Fucking blah, blah, blah. But, yeah. um. Like the it like I thought it was gonna be like that, but no, it's fucking great. I yeah. swear to God, man. There was an episode where they had this fella on. Now it's just the queer eye podcast, um, <laughs> and the guy was like from the Starly episode. He was the loveliest wee man ever. Like we like like ex veteran or something, you know. And uh, he was like, he was only like in his thirties, and he was uh, talking about you know he, he kept like slagging himself throughout it. Yeah, and he was like, oh yeah, you know, oh, I was just fat and all, blah blah blah, and like he kept doing it as a joke as a way to like like break any tension that he felt and, all. Yeah. and like he felt like and he just was being so self-deprecating to himself and they were just sort of sitting back and watching him and then Queer Eye there's like five of them there's one of them there's like fashion interior design your hair and makeup right something else and uh, and then one of them is like a, like your therapist basically they, they right. basically like they're they're your they get your confidence up you know yeah. and uh, he was like he turned around to the guy and uh, was like basically you're so self-deprecating he goes ah, but I'm alright like I don't fucking you know I don't feel too bad about it like you know yeah. I just blah 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 and he had obviously got to that stage of self-deprecating that anything he said went over his own head yeah and uh, he went right okay listen to this and he played a playback of uh, he played like a wee fucking speaker you know and it was uh, all the cuts that they had recorded so far of him being self-deprecating 
and he just burst into tears and oh, I was shit. like mate that's fucking hectic yeah. because I was watching it and I went holy shit I was like <laughs> That it doesn't, you don't realize how bad it is, like on your, like, especially if you're doing comedy, yeah, and you're being self deprecating because it obviously, after you know, one or two of them, the crowd are like, ah, he's at least he's humble, yeah. and then they go, is he all right? You know, yeah. like it's sad after a point, you know, yeah, and you just have to learn that yourself, you yeah, know, that's what it was. And then I, it took me because then I was doing the same five minutes at the very, very start, and then I noticed I didn't. I basically didn't take Pete's advice the next time after I'd done yeah. it and then I realised I threw an alpha joke in one of the yeah. I had written like it was a throw it in and I remember the crowd just like not really laughing even though it was quite a funny one Yeah, I hope I think but <laughs> and I was like that's, yeah, what, that's still, what he means you, you know still I mean? get like the, the, like the pity the pity over, laugh yeah. it overpowers the actual funny you yeah, know? yeah so then I learned to be like right like I'll still take the piss out of myself if it's if it's going if a joke's going bad. Like I'm I'm the first, but get to be like oh, oh yeah. shit. You know There's nothing wrong, like, especially at an open mic or something. Oh, but like, of course, man. It yeah, just yeah. it sets you up for like a. See if you start like a, you're at a fucking three hundred seater and yeah. you're doing like self deprecation. Yeah, it gets out of hand and the, you, yeah. the crowd will. That's a big number of people. The, the crowd will turn, turn on you. Turn like yeah, and then and not in like a bad way. They just they yeah, just start just to feel bad for you. Uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. you want to give them a good night at the end of the day. Like you know what I mean. I had me last night at Madden's after I was down in my hole and I went, "This is shit." And every joke I finished, I kept going, "This is shit. This is shit." Yeah, I was terrible. That was funnier than you thought it was. Yeah. And then after that, they just weren't often. Like after that, they were just like sick of hearing it. You know. Yeah. So that's why I like sort of went okay. I'm doing shit right now. I'm gonna dip off. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of your night. You know. But so, th- there's. <laughs> It's weird because you can mention it so much that it then becomes funny then. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I went up at Madden's one time. It was for Sean's uh, fucking headline show and it was like the work in progress thing of it um, the Tuesday beforehand. And I went up and I was going to try a new bit. Went to try the new bit, forgot it, and then forgot my five minutes that I had fucking drilled yeah. into my head. And the whole time I was just like, just talking shit, just like yeah. giving shit to myself. And it's hard to like, whenever you're scrambling on there to be like, I have nothing else to say, but just give myself shit. Yeah. And it went well. People were laughing, like definitely at me, not with me. But <laughs> I went off stage and like a couple of people come up to me and were like, that was brilliant, man. That was hilarious. And I was like, I felt like dying up there. <laughs> like it was literally, it was horrendous. Yeah. And then I watched it back and was like, it was funny. But from a like comedy perspective, I'm like that, I should not do that. Like yeah. it was funny, but I wanted to do that bit. I wanted to get it down. I wanted to yeah. see how I was doing, and I just I got, I suppose I got the fact that I could riff off it. So I was like, yeah. at least I know I could do that. Worst case scenario, but I was like, I want to fucking, yeah. I wanted to be more polished. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, I think you like, not to make this a whole comedy podcast. We'll switch the topic off this, but like I think uh, what will come naturally with that was when you do bigger rooms. Yeah. See when you start doing bigger rooms and realize that you don't need to be self deprecating throughout yeah. yourself. Yeah. It'll leak into like whenever you're going to open mics and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like I like I've done a few rooms of like a couple hundred people, and uh, they were the things that made me stop doing all like the nervous energy shit. Yeah. Because then you can just you get the big laughs and uh, you know you don't feel as awkward or as intimate with the crowd where you feel like you need yeah. to be like that. So like like I think the first big one I did. I don't know if it was either the Balmoral Hotel or Lavery's, but it was like after doing that, you know, and it was like 150 people in Lavery's yeah. and you, you in a place where usually you have in your mind prepared to, for the joke not to land yeah. and you're getting a roar of laughter and you go, oh, I can just go to the next joke. You yeah. know, like there's yeah. no, there's I, no awkward silence. There's no like fucking, you know, and then like the Balmoral Hotel, like 300 people and then the Glen Owen, like a couple hundred people and I was like, after doing all them ones, I was like, oh, you don't have to do that. But then, like, you go back then open mic and you do the same thing again anyway, and you're just yeah. like, I need to drill that out of me. Yeah, it's you weird, know? but I'm sort of getting that stage where, like, after Pete and all said to me, and I'd done the gig after, and I felt the crowd, like, sort of ease into themselves. Yeah. I was like, right, so I stopped doing it from then, and then, as you, funny enough, when you said, as, like, a like a big room, I'd done Sean's gig, it was, like, over 100 people in the Shamrocks, and you're exactly, like, yeah. fucking amazing, and then... It was really, really good, but I'm sort of getting that out of me now where I'm like, at the start, it was like pure imposter syndrome, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then now I've done enough gigs where I'm like, no, actually, I not deserve to be here, but it's like, oh, I, I kind of know what I'm doing now. I'm comfortable being you know, here, you, you know what I mean? You know, that's what I mean. You're a fucking straight white guy. You're not getting places, <laughs> yeah, uh, you're yeah. not getting places for no no reason, you know? Yeah, yeah. If, you get, if you get booked for a gig as like the way we look, yeah. it's because you're funny. At yeah. the end of the day, like, you, you, we, we don't get nothing for nothing, like, you know, yeah. so... It, like it's one of the things where like well, in comedy you sort of have to fucking work for it you know yeah, so yeah. you're not just that's what I, like that's where I have like sort of drilled the imposter syndrome it comes back every now and then oh, in fucking course, waves yeah. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, like you die in your hole you're like what am I doing 
Yeah, oh, last night I literally was like driving home and I was like, should I quit comedy? I yeah. was like, just we'll just do music full time, man. You know, <laughs> fucking, we'll get the bitches, man. Get the fucking <laughs> beach water and bitches. <laughs> beach that's, water and bitches, man. <laughs> Love it. That's the name of the episode. I don't, you just don't know what we're talking no. about, but <laughs> basically, uh, at the end of all the fucking old World Star songs, Birdman used to like say all these fucking random shit. And at the end of one we were listening to, he goes, beach water and bitches. <laughs> and we were laughing about it for about 40 like, minutes. What else do you want? <laughs> <laughs> like, he's I think else you'd be greedy. <laughs> <laughs> the head. That's it. You've got fighting, drinking, smoking. <laughs> Anything else you'd be greedy like. <laughs> Beaches, waters, bitches. <laughs> I don't know why I went fucking full Jamaican there, but um, yeah, just the rap, like the wrap up that topic. Um, basically, like, the, like you don't get nothing for nothing. Yeah. Like you, you, you get where comedy as a street white meal, you get what you deserve. Yeah, you, so you, so, like. you don't fucking, you don't like. If you're down on your hole every night, you're not going to get booked for shit. No. You're not going to fucking, you know, you can show up to Madden's as many times as you want, but you're not going to get booked for other gigs, you know? Yeah. But uh, as you've probably seen on, in certain people. And um, <laughs> ah, we're back and talking shit about people <laughs> on the podcast. This is why we stopped the last time. This is a fucking love it. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh, and then, like, if you're, uh, once you start doing bigger rooms yeah. and you notice yourself do well in a bigger room, yeah. you go... Oh no, that's not imposter syndrome. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you're like, so do I book the arena now or like <laughs> yeah. do I wait? I know, uh, like I always joke about that, but then um, I'm always like, when do I book like you know a big room? But uh, Pete Giffen has actually, I'll tell you after what the room is. I don't want to fucking like yeah. give away what it is, but he's booked a big room right. for like either at the, I think at the end of next year. And Are holy you? fuck, I was like. Pick you mate. Yeah. <laughs> it was like fucking tuck your dick back in, lad. You're fucking swinging past the knees, lad. Yeah, you know what I mean? Fair I, fucking play, don't yeah, man. sort of. I'll tell you what it is after. But I was like, what? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, then once I was like, but sometimes you just have to take the jump, though, man. Oh yeah, you and he's I mean? the fucking king of it. And he's he's, uh, you've seen Pick Evan on the podcast before if you've watched it. He is a. Uh, the one out of our generation of comedy where I'm like, lad, you're the fucking, you're the next, you're next up. You're the dog's bollocks. Like, yeah, 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 but, um, yeah, but, oh, yeah, the fucking random topic generator. Yeah, how much of your pressure comes up? Comedy. <laughs> 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 it just comes up, Madden's bar. <laughs> what, what do you think of open mic comedy? <laughs> <laughs> do you have imposter syndrome? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, uh, I just, something popped right in my head after reading one word in this. Which news story, which recent news story is the most interesting? Have you got anything? Man, I don't pay attention to the news for some reason. The last thing I think, the last time I watched the news, it just happened to be on, and uh, they announced that Tupac's killer was arrested, and I was like, my life is complete. <laughs> I thought you were saying, last time I watched the news, Tupac died. <laughs> 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 I've watched it since 1996. I might as well, but my head hasn't been right since. Damn <laughs> it. <laughs> but no, I just. Fuck, an antidepressant, a neurodivergent. <laughs> I've started gigging in the black box. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, um. The one I seen recently and it had me in fucking stitches was have you seen this guy talking about how Will Smith's gay? I've seen I've I've, <laughs> I've, I've heard tell <laughs> the guy he's like I walked into Dwayne Wade's uh, dressing room and he had Will Smith bent over that chair man he was killing his shit <laughs> he was killing his shit <laughs> I was fucking I was crying laughing so like he enjoyed it <laughs> <laughs> he was killing his shit man he's killing it. and the girl like, in the interviews like yeah yeah and he's like he's Killing it. <laughs> the other, like last week at Mons, I walked in and Kieran Franco walked up to me and he goes, he was killing the shit. <laughs> and I was like, oh, you know what, you know what. <laughs> I was crying laughing on it. I don't get the whole fucking thing. I'm like, for one, why are you trying to out the man, for one? Yeah, if he yeah. is gay, who gives a fuck? You fuck, know, like, yeah. I don't care. Like, he was still an iRobot, you know what I mean? He was still, man, he was still a I'm a legend, you know, fucking, where I am legend. He was still fucking man in black, you know what mm. I mean? I don't care how... He doesn't even fuck any bitches in any of them movies either. No, you know what he I mean? Doesn't, man, no. He's, he's fucking sucking off them aliens on the side. <laughs> <laughs> he's, if he does pull ups at the start of the movie, I know it's going to be a bad uh, movie. I would call that a bad boy. He's yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So I don't like it. None of these movies like effect is fucking. You know what I mean? If you like get to that stage where you like you separate the art from the artist, but I th- it it pisses me off because they're like, Will Smith's gay, and I think it's just because he's in like what you would call like black culture, yeah. and obviously uh, like in America. Um, a lot of black people wouldn't be as like open. Yeah, they wouldn't be as open to like being yeah. gay and stuff. They're very there's a very homophobic side to that culture. Yeah, minute, especially you know? listen to any rap song ever. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know. But even like early two thousands, I'll rap. make you suck my dick. <laughs> yeah, oh, man, but like <laughs> you ever hear that Nas song and he's like 
There's, there's some N words. Uh, you can't catch the ops and fuck them in the ass. Weird ass motherfuckers. You know? and you're like, you're like, what a bar. What made him think that? You know, it's like his opening line as well. Yeah, I listened to Lil Wayne and Millie there the other day. Actually, yeah. cracker tune, and I just oh, he says he just says the F word, and I'm like, oh. That happened. Yeah, I mean, uh, oh yeah. yeah, they say that. I forgot. I mean, that. I still say that word. <laughs> there's, there's a, the only one I won't say is the N word. I'm sorry. Everything else is free real estate to me. <laughs> free real estate. <laughs> someone was like talking. It was the other week on the podcast. Someone was like talking to me. They were like, "Yeah, man, the R word and all." And I was like, "I was like, retard." <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, girls, the draw. I'm never calling anyone it, but yeah, I'll yeah. still say it in a sentence. Like I don't give the a word fuck. exists. Like that's yeah. It. yeah, like you know. It's like the rest of them don't have like the same like historical substance to it yeah. as like the N word. Where so I'm like, I ah, will avoid the N word for now. You know, <laughs> yeah, but like, yeah. the fucking like whatever you want, like fucking free real estate. Free like, real estate, man. It's yeah. on my tongue, mate. You know, it's a it's a it's a noise. You know? Yeah, that's true. That is true. Yeah, sometimes you can remove yourself from like, why have you been angry at this thing? And then someone yeah. calls me a fat con. I'm like, oh, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> I even heard that. I know, but even like fucking Eminem and all, still like it's one of one of his albums there recently. Uh, he's disentirely the creator in it. I think he apologized to him for uh, yes, it. The only cult that Eminem's ever apologized to. It was to. Kamikaze, the album, yeah. I think, wasn't it? I think I'm and he sure. was like, uh, something, because um, you, or, because I can see why you call yourself a faggot bitch. And yeah. I was like, Pfft. oh, yeah, yeah, I, I remember like, that part, actually, yeah. And then, I remember it was very polarizing at the time, and then it was weird, it, w- it was weird, and then you're like, it's Eminem, what do you expect? Like, you yeah. know what I mean? It's like, your, your steaming uncle, he's very, very racist and yeah. you're like and you're fucking choking me on racism there <laughs> <laughs> choking me on ancestors racism but it's like no you're steaming on because it's like ah it's just fucking you know, <laughs> it, was, it was one of your ancestors trying to get out there <laughs> 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 but um, the yeah I like to be fair I thought there were some funny bars in that, that album because it was like in one of the bars M&M it was like uh get her the hooded sweater or whatever his name is <laughs> he's like yeah, he's yeah. like doesn't tell the creator and he's like uh uh, get Earl a hooded sweater and I thought that was fucking hilarious <laughs> Earl sweatshirt yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know why I, I, I still listen to Eminem I think he's great I think uh, some of his newer stuff's kind of whack but yeah like, it's whack like uh, it's weird because like, stop trying to rap over 808s you know yeah fucking... and it's weird because you know I wish him all the best and all the rest like, but just get back on the gear like you were great Craig that was, <laughs> like, you know what I mean like just I want to hear just relapse bro just do it, just do, it. <laughs> yeah, really... do the accents again you know the fucking we made you songs oh no, class man <laughs> yeah. all the MP12 tunes and all as well yeah, like, exactly. you know, uh, I remember fucking oh man I remember when I was young but we, me and my brother had PSPs and like you know we could put tunes on the PSP yeah. like and we had Eminem Fack on there. No, fact. <laughs> yeah, me and my cousin used to Bro, blast that. What a grotesque song. Yeah, yeah, listen yeah, to it. Tom there. putting the gerbil in his ass and all. <laughs> oh man, I remember listening to it like a few months ago and I was like, my brain is warped from this here. Like, I was like eight or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. And like, my, me and my brother listened to it and we're all like, yeah, just like loving it. And I just didn't, I probably didn't understand what how the words were. Yeah. Like, you know, all the references See, and stuff. It's, it's even so fucked. Whenever I first heard that song, I didn't know what coming was. And yeah. he was like, I'm coming. And I used to think it meant he was coming in the room. <laughs> yeah, he's arriving. Like. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, I have arrived. Man has entered. <laughs> you know, like, and he was like, you know, and then like growing up and then like he was like, this bitch can twist like a damn contortionist and yeah, all. And I was yeah, like, yeah. what's that? You know, like, and next thing you know, I'm like, oh no, she's fucking, you know, in the crowd position, you know, yeah. fucking a terrible song. Like, but like some of the mentalist lyrics you'll ever hear in your entire life. Yeah. Like there's, there's another one called uh, with D12. Um, what the fuck is it? It's something with the belly, belly dancer and they know all the accents. What do you call that fucking one, man? Is that a... I can't remember, but... I, I no, remember playing Ninja Gaiden 3. Listen to that class. My nose is blocked right now and I don't know how. Um, But uh, there was one... Uh, what the fuck was it? I can't remember the fucking name of it. It was like a... It was a D12 song and the chorus was like... So you can suck my dick if you don't like my shit. Cause I was high when I wrote this, so suck my dick. And yeah. I was like, "That's the best chorus I've ever heard." In my entire life. <laughs> I'll was, pop a beat there. We'll fucking go. <laughs> sort of go. We'll do a wee remix of it. Uh, speaking of, actually, um, T Mike and we Joe were looking to come down and make music. So we'll oh, fucking, nice one, yeah, 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 we'll just wax some beats up and get it into that. Perhaps. Oh, yeah. I fu- yeah, man, that's what we're talking about. Get fucking. We Joe, we get some bitches in the room. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had an all random topic here before we wrap up because I think we're hitting an hour there. So, nice, uh, let me see. <laughs> Have you ever given a presentation in front of a large group of people? <laughs> <laughs> Two comedians. Um, presentation on depression. <laughs> 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 the physics sometimes, fuck. I'm neurodivergent. <laughs> um, I don't even know what neurodivergent meant. I thought it meant like you fucking you think in three different ways. Um. <laughs> three different brain cells like a fucking octopus octopus oh no fucking piss off wait hold on 
Sorry, folks. Uh, oh, there we go. We're still going. Um, what problems will technology solve in the next five years? What problems will it create? Well, AI. AI hopefully. scares the fuck out of me. My mate was telling me about this fucking show he watched. I can't remember what it was. It was on Netflix or something. And apparently, I, I don't know if it's pure, <coughs> like if I'm talking shit here, I definitely am. It's literally, <laughs> it's literally my thing. But uh, <laughs> he was telling me about this fucking, like, Dog, so then that that Boston Robotics company yeah. that have that dog or some shit, but the, some some army have this dog, right? That's got like <laughs> so it sounds like when you're in P seven, you're drawing pictures of all your mates, and it's like pure bullshit. But apparently, there's this dog has got a sniper on its fucking <laughs> front, on its head, right? <laughs> I'm like fucking <laughs> three sixty kennel scope, like you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> fucking oh, three sixty bark bark ladder stuff, fucking kennel stall off the top of fucking rust. I play too much Call of Duty. I'm still playing it these days. I'm a virgin, yes. But uh, man, I was like, what do you mean? And he was like, man, we'll chase this fucking stick in favela. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, on, if we're talking about Call of Duty, see some of Call of Duty. I'm playing a lot of Call of Duty, grinding all the camos. See some of them Call of Duty maps. Nostalgia, you can keep it. There's some <laughs> man. See the the map estate. Dog shit. Players like really? us. Yeah, it's fucking dog shit. But anyway, um, th- yeah, apparently they've got these fucking robots like snipers and all of them. I'm like, holy <laughs> fuck. And he was like, it's just scary as fuck, man. That's and some it, Kingsman shit, isn't it? It's like, <laughs> yeah, man. But it's just like, I don't know, man. It's just scary as fuck. It's going too far. And I don't like to think about like AI and, AI and stuff too much. Like, did you ever hear them AI songs? You're like, that's, I have never yeah, heard Travis Scott it, as good in my life and it's not even him. I know, but the, what pisses me off about it is that you can hear like, there's no emotion in it. Yeah. See when you listen to like a Drake one. See when you listen to a Drake song, like you're like in it with him, you know, you're like yeah. fucking, you know, you listen to Chicago and you're like, two thirty, baby. And then like you hear the AI ones and it's got bars, but there's no heart to it, you know, that's yeah. what I can feel the difference in it. Especially from uh, making music, um, you know, when I, I would call myself a bit of a creator, you know, um, <laughs> not I wouldn't say I'm the best in the world, but I would say I am. But um, <laughs> so like the literally from like making it, you can always tell the difference listening to an AI song where it's like, you know, he's spitting like you're like made if he re- if he wrote that and put it on the track himself, yeah. that would be the best song ever. But you can always feel there's still that wee bit of fucking like like blunt just robotic. lacking yeah. something, yeah. It's and it's like the the wee bit of like fucking quirkiness that Drake has or something, or you know, he's got and he has, they've got their own like vernacular at this stage where you're like that is a thing Drake would say. You know yeah, what I mean? It's exactly. like even the words like yeah. you know what I mean. He, what, what does he say? Um, you get a big Sean song, you know, <laughs> on a. The, the, the Star One Drake song is like we go straight from the Vava straight to the Sink on Sink then back to the Vava or whatever the fuck it is I'm like I've never been to either of those places but I want to go <laughs> it's saying you're making well, a I don't want to go back and forth <laughs> yeah. we'll do it we'll go in and out like an episode of Scooby Doo yeah, like, the we'll Vava fucking... must be class like, you've went again you know I mean? like, the same night like you know what I mean like you went to the Sink on Sink and goes ah the Vava's man, better he's got the fucking vo- he's got the coupons from it like he's fucking he's heading back to it you know what I mean it's like man yeah, fucking, it's... Like, fucking some rep in the front of the Vava I'll be like Drake I'm out <laughs> Aubrey, why is it a fucking mini golf course where he gets a free game at the end of it you know <laughs> if he gets a hole in one, you know, it's fucking straight to the bar. He probably does get his hole in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching an episode of Atlanta, and the whole episode is based around these women trying to go to a party at Drake's house. And, uh, Cra- yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> I love Atlanta, and it man. Tur- it turns out they're all taking fucking selfies with like a cutout of them. <laughs> I was like, that's fucking hilarious. Atlanta's a great show, man. And I watched the whole episode, I can't remember what the fuck it was, but at the very end, yeah, so there's just rapper or like NBA star or something, and like, um, you know they're all jealous of him because he's getting all the bitches over in the VIP section yeah. and he's talking about uh, this fucking like invisible car he has and there's like a selfie of him in the invisible car and, it's like, <laughs> and Donald Glover's like it's just him and a selfie of nothing like it's just bullshit and at the very very end <laughs> like the, the fucking club's getting shot up and you just see this boy floating in the background <laughs> with nothing, nothing and he just runs a little people over <laughs> I was like but it's so mad because it's like this is such a serious show and there's a lot yeah. of like you know Great topics in it, like socioeconomic issues, right? Yeah. And then just this boy in a floating yoke. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fucking there's, amazing. There's the latest season, there's an episode where they're in like fucking Holland or something. There's just the Atlanta podcast now, and they're, they're in like, uh, I think they're in Amsterdam. And uh, <laughs> there's two parts that it had me in fucking stitches. There's one where like this wee kid like walks past and with like his dad, and they're both in blackface, and they just stop and look at him going past, and they just watch him, and then they realize that it's like a like a holiday over there where yeah. they all paint their faces brown and all and they're like oh no it's a uh, it's for uh, like our version of Santa or something you know <laughs> and they, this is what he wears or whatever yeah. and like the guys are just standing there and like nah <laughs> and then there's later on that episode uh, is, what's his name in it uh, Paperboy Paperboy he, he fucking trips out on like shrooms or something and uh, 
he ends up in this weird nightclub where he's like uh, he, he's like sitting at the bar waiting on this girl coming back and uh, Liam Neeson walks up to him <laughs> and he's like and then he's Cats like full of piss yeah because <laughs> like Paperboy's been like cancelled for like saying some shit or something yeah. and uh, Liam Neeson comes up to him and is like oh sure I know how you feel lad I know <laughs> no way Liam Neeson said all this shit yeah, and he was like guy. yeah man he was like uh, he's like yeah man uh, I know the feeling and all Paperboy's like yeah it's fucking shit isn't it and all but you know, we're just normal people at the end of the day. You know, it's not like we do hate anyone. And like, <laughs> Liam Neeson turns around and goes, no, I hate the black boss. <laughs> <laughs> I, st- I was in stitches. They got Liam Neeson to go full racist. Well, it. like, double down on it. That's yeah. the exact words he said to him. Yeah. Like, yeah, man, fucking crack. Liam Neeson is, like, he looks like he'd be good crack. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, he looks like he's, he's self aware. Yeah. I love the photo of him with the pishy cacks. But did you ever see it? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> <laughs> Which photo? It's the... um. I swear, I I love I love how he's just up for anything. Yeah, yeah. He's like, you no know, way, like Matt Damon is just up for doing cameos and everything. Yeah, he loves it. Yeah. But like fucking, uh, I think it was that story where you know all the Seth MacFarlane movies, like Ted, A Million Ways Down the West. Yeah, yeah. He's always in them, you know. And uh, I think he is like one thing that he wanted. He was like, oh, I'll do A Million Ways Down the West, but I have to do my Northern Irish accent. So he's just in it, being like. Where's your girlfriend? <laughs> you know, he's meant to be some cow- western cowboy. Yeah. You know, and he's like, here, daughter, don't be running away from me. And he's just got his Balamina accent. Hey, so have funny. you got that six shooter over there? Do you? Yeah, the sh- six shooter. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck. You know, we're like up here, like fucking. Ah, do you know you want to go past the Balagoli roundabout? <laughs> but, uh, and then, You're like, for gold, eh? the, the Ted movie, he like, there's that scene where he like walks up and he buys like a box of tricks, and you know, like, the whole advertisement is tricks are for kids. Yeah. Have you seen that movie? Yeah. And he's like, fucking. He's like, no, you're sure I won't be followed. <laughs> you know, it was real, like, fucking Jerry Autumn's voice. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and he's like, hands him like a favor, and then like tucks it in. He's like, I won't forget what you've done here for me today. <laughs> <laughs> and Ted's like, I, I wish you would. <laughs> <laughs> He's even great crack in Dairy Girls as well. Like, yeah, yeah. I pointed out in Dairy last week in the Bannigans and I remember just seeing the hill and I was like, is that the hill? And then I looked everywhere <laughs> and was like, oh, it's, it's all a hill. <laughs> like, I didn't realise I was in Dairy last week. What were you doing on Thursday? Yeah. yeah. I was down on Friday doing some fucking charity thing. Me, I don't want to talk about this. Holy fuck. Uh, <laughs> doing a charity gig in the Maldron Hotel big function room couple hundred people and it yeah. was great great crack Fit and Harvey was MC and he did fantastic Brilliant. and uh, I rocked up I had no idea I only got booked last minute because Kieran Franco had to be somewhere else and that's me I'm super sub I'm on the side of the pits fucking stretching the legs and a high vis you yeah. know and uh, I went into it I was on first because I was like I need, I'm in Derry I need to get out of here quick you know yeah. like I'm not driving home at fucking 2 o'clock in the no, morning man. Friday night I was down for a drink you know yeah. and uh I was in there and I went on and I just heard the charity was called Hurt. It was called Hurt. So I assumed it was like suicide awareness and I went up and did my drug dealer joke. Like eight minutes of drug dealer topics. Oh God. And uh, I was getting to the end of it and I was like, oh, this is down on its hole and you were all loving me for like two minutes before this. Yeah. And people were like, and I was like, wow, what's what's going on? And uh, the woman who booked me fucking riffing with his coffee riffing we were talking about yesterday um, and we were uh, and I turned around and I was like what the fuck on the, on stage I was like what, what's what's the crack here why is everyone fucking just died yeah. off of me what's going on Where, where's the crack on and uh, they turned around and they were like this is actually a, a, a charity for recovering addicts and everyone cheered out of like you know and I like felt like such a dick because Aww. they were like we're recovering addicts and everyone went yeah, yeah well, and I was like, like like standing there going Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I like ch- had to like rope it back in. I was like, I'm so I don't know what the fuck to do. I was like, I don't even do drugs. I'm like, I caved in on myself. I was like, everything's fake, man. I don't know. None of these jokes these comedians are telling are real. <laughs> I'm gonna some nearly virgin. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll have to go back to old comedy now. Straight white men. <laughs> I had a bad tender date. You know? I'm not like the, the the you know the fucking drug addict. Yeah. Fucking charity wanted crack. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you one thing, the crack was not ninety in there. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, apparently, the woman who was running it had her like hot son had like a heroin overdose or something. Shit. And it was mad. Oh, I was like, fuck. I was like, shit. But at least they were game to have a, have a have a laugh about it. Be like, this cunt doesn't know that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And uh, to be fair, like we went outside. Well, I was just trying to dip out. I was like trying to hide and get like dip out. Like during the break, everyone was up dancing. All it was weird. I was like, "What the fuck's happening?" Man. It was like a, a DJ on. And no I, gear in the place either. Yeah. <laughs> it's like everyone's sober here. What the <laughs> fuck? And uh, there was like a oh, because um, what there was like a local celebrity there who I forget his name, Mickey Doherty or something. He's okay. like quite popular up there. He does all like the fucking 
you know, he's like there. I don't know. He's like someone down here who would like open up like restaurants and all. You know, I know you're talking about sort of yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. Know, that sort of thing. Just I don't a know. Sound what, fella. Yeah, yeah, and uh, like tan to the dick, like you know, like fucking, you know, you could scrape it off him like ice cream the tan, <laughs> yeah. and uh, big fake white teeth and all on him. You know, the hairline was done. And he was wearing like, you know, some fucking Versace outfit. And he was a lovely fella. Like I was yeah. like talking about him. And I was like, listen, uh, everything's fake, man. I, I, I don't need to do drugs. I don't fucking, these clothes aren't real. Fucking, these shoes aren't real. This bar's not even real. They're not even serving real paints over there at this point. <laughs> yeah, this guy's teeth aren't even fucking real. And everyone died laughing at that. And I went, I've got them, I've got them. Yeah, yeah, we're back. Uh, yeah, and it was so weird. And then I tried to like dip out at the break. And uh, got to the front door of the hotel. And like 30 of them were all starting having a smoke. And I was like, Ah shit! <laughs> I was like, oh, and I had to walk out, and they all apologized to me for the awkwardness of it. Oh. They were like, "No, you were hilarious. We loved it, and all blah blah blah." It was just the fact that that you know her, it was that one woman, and blah blah blah. It just wasn't you know, and they were like good taste, good and, taste stuff. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, fair enough. And they, the they were like, "Listen, we're not paying anyone here tonight, but I'm going to give you petrol money here just for like the inconvenience. We didn't explain to you what this was and all, and what not to talk about." And I was like, fair enough, that's great. And uh, I was so happy just to walk away and like. It was weird. It was just like 40 year old women hugging and kissing me. Like gr- kissing me in the cheek. One of them they're grab- doing an giggling. <laughs> <laughs> one of them grabbed me in the fucking ass on the way out. And it's like, what the fuck's happening here? I was like, here. Just want no, no set? Or like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, no, it was weird as hell. It was a strange ass gig. But yeah, uh, it was one of them days where I was just like, mate. I went into the green room and our green room was just a set of stairs to like a, a back door. And we just sat in the stairs. And I was like, uh. <laughs> yeah, Derry's weird though. I love Derry. I've been there a few times. Now. The first time yeah. I went was that fucking bullshit permit scheme thing. But Derry's very like Nuri. It's like Nuri, but with things to do, right? But <laughs> like it was weird because all the people in Derry so lovely. Her apparently, not <laughs> <laughs> be <a> booked again. <laughs> God, uh, but so like everyone knows each other. It is like Nuri, but I just feel like it's like hot fuzz like someone's going to say a word one day they're pure sleeper oh, yeah, and then they're, they're just going to take over the town going, for the greater good yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for the greater good hey. for the for the greater good hi for the yeah. oh, no, oh, no sir we're not on the no 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 shot there no, like. it's weird the accent is fucking very strange like and because there's two there's two ends of the spectrum of it as well we're like yeah. you could be Belfast and then you're just like otherworldly like yeah. I can barely understand you exactly like, some fella I swear that whole city has fucking ADHD as a collective as well or autism or something they're just I, I was talking to some fella one time and he turned around to me and he was like uh, oh you're from oh you're from Craigavon hey you're from Craigavon I was like yeah yeah and he was like I once did a job down in Craigavon and I was like oh really that's cool I was like what, what were you down in Craigavon for working and he was like he just like turned like he'd like turned away look away at like the bar or something like literally like still facing me but like turned his head and I was like what were you doing down in Craigavon and he was like that's none of your fucking business and I was like lad <laughs> you told me <laughs> I was like, you, were, you asked me yeah. weird as hell yeah but um, what was that question again <laughs> AI or some shit was it? Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> what the, what's it going to cause? What problems it going to cause? <laughs> Sax dolls comes to mind straight away, isn't it? Like, yeah, fuck, that's a problem. We're looking for problems. <laughs> <laughs> we got solutions, man. I don't oh, know. Yeah, uh, it's just scary as fuck, man. I was about to make such a misogynistic joke there, but I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm doubling down because people keep telling me no. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I swear to God, it's so funny. Like, I don't know. Fuck, do you want to wrap it up now? Because yeah, <laughs> I feel myself yeah. getting, like, unhinged. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> let's fuck it. Anyway, folks, uh, thank you very much for listening to the User Hectic Podcast, episode 29 with Soup. I think we should call this one Beach Water and Bitches. <laughs> Beach Water and Bitches, man, yeah. yeah uh, it was a good crack. Uh, so, me, Justin Freeburn. Uh, just to plug the port side in, uh, 6th, thir- 13th, 16th of December. Can't remember. Let me just get it. Bear with me. da 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 what the fucking date is it? It's the 13th of December. Come down to the port side in. We've got Rory Woods headline. It's absolutely great. It's only a tenner in. Fucking come down, pay at the door, buy tickets online. Whatever you want, just make it down. It'd be a good crack. Have you anything to plug? Uh, my link tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, follow me on Instagram. Uh, any gigs I'm doing is up there. I'm doing the pub this Monday and then uh, same as last time, any Maddens I can get my hands on. And yeah, that's really it. Yeah, you'll probably be back at the port side in in the new year as well. So then I come, come lay in ones and... Uh, yeah, just keep listening to User Hacked Podcast. Follow User Hacked on TikTok, on Instagram, everything. It's great crack. We put up great clips and uh, everyone loves it. And if you're woke, watch it too, please. We love you. Um, uh, so, yeah, thank you very much for listening. Uh, take it easy. Woo!